Hello and welcome to my channel. Do you remember I had the two older Bibles and I was painting their covers? Well, one didn't work out, but I managed to cover it and, and redeemed it, if you like. This was the second one. So this was the NIV Quiet Time Bible. That was its paper cover. Now you can see it's painted cover. And I'll be quiet time. It's a bit shiny there, isn't it? I'm sure you can see this. And the back of it. So, how did I do this? Well, first of all, I wiped the cover clean. And then I put a, a layer of transparent gesso on it. Then actually I put base coat of, it worked out to be four coats of white acrylic. It seemed to want to, before I could cover up, because it was quite a dark cover. Uh, then I did some Mod Podge to finish. Now, what you've got to do is make sure that when you're putting your, everything on, you wipe your edges. Because otherwise, it's just going to reel off and you've got to make sure you clean there so it doesn't all go around quite thickly. And then it had two outer coatings. Um, I used Uni Posca paint pen for the wording. And this was watercolours, just watercolours. So what how's it? You can, you can tell I'm reading this off of a sheet. I've got my normal sheet of what did I do with it um right so it's done with watercolor gesso can be white if you want um it's acrylic based and it's watercolor flowers and a spray sealer this only came today so that's why I can bring you this I've sprayed it and it's all nice and dry and away we go it says don't use like a paint on Mod Podge because you can smear your painting so you spray it on so that you hopefully don't smear it. Now with this one it's got my homemade tabs and they were the purple collage ones. Empty envelope now I have to make some more. But the way I've done this is in the design of um, a glue book. Have you heard of glue books? Just reaching. So this was a smaller glue book, just to give you an idea. So it's just putting pictures in, random pictures, writing if you want, pockets if you want. But it was a case of getting, there we go, opens out, just little bits. Doesn't have to mix, doesn't have to match, can be whatever you want. And that is what's called a glue book. You can either cut bits up or rip the edges off. It was just a little art book that I was starting to feel and use as a glue book. So this is the vein, is that the right way, of how I'm doing this one. Inside my first page are napkins. Mod Podge, napkins. I found this, which was really good is a handy reference list of emergency phone numbers when in sorrow when men fail you when you have sinned you get the gist and it tells you where to go and look and it says please note emergency numbers may be dialed direct no operator assistance is necessary all lines to heaven are open 24 hours a day <laughs> so you can read your bible 24 hours a day and this is what i meant by the glue book effect random stuff which is very different for me it's not my photos then i made up some this bible belongs to and put that in on top very mixed i thought it was very different you know in most of my bibles you see and they've just got like a photo end of but this one's a bit different bits at them of old children's books some stickers on there so it's the NIV Quiet Time Bible by Hodder and Stoughton. Bit of fussy cuts in here if I couldn't get 
a whole lot of stuff in. Contents. Contributions. Abbreviations. Topical bride Bible readings. A Bible reading plan. Always helpful, isn't it? If there's a plan in there, which means you can literally look it up and go for it. It's a bit like this, isn't it? hope you can see this okay. The sun's blaring outside and it's obviously messing up with my pictures here. Let's see if we can close the blinds down. Is that that's a bit clearer, isn't it? Darker but clearer for you. So, Bible reading plan. Getting the most out of the NIV quiet time Bible. It says why a quiet time? How to use it? Why have a quiet time? I think we all need those, don't we? How to have a quiet time. How to study the Bible. Lots of information before you get going, actually. Prayer and journaling. And an odd picture. The preface. Weights and measures. Unusual, because you usually get those at the back of the Bible, don't you? But in this one, it's at the front. And you get into the Old Testament. This was cut-ups of bits of my artwork that I'd done. I'd even randomly cut that up. The little cards you've seen before, because it's not a journaling Bible, you might want to write something. So I added some artwork, a bit of wool, plenty of space on the back to be written on. They're not in any particular place. There we go, into Genesis and another piece of glue booking, for want of a better word. Doesn't go into anything particular, just odd bits. And it's glue books about tearing and ripping and just having fun with magazines, really. Just get a magazine and just, once you've read it, obviously, and everybody else has read it that wanted to, and you just rip it up. Here we go. So you can see, not too much on these, as I say, nothing on the pages. It's a double one. It has a bit about each book, sorry. Tells you about numbers. Gives you the outline of numbers. Could have put something in there, couldn't I? Nice big blank piece. Then it goes, it's got all little symbols. It says warming up to God, read numbers, discover the word, applying the word, responding in prayer. And it's got your normal two-column layout. It tells you each book or each chapter as it goes through. What else do we have? Oh, there was a bigger hole, so I'll put a, a bit in that one. You would say it was a good job we're not actually reading this word for word because it's not a very good lighting in here today, is it? But I thought it was to give you the idea of what I'd been up to. Taking an older Bible and I don't know how old this one is. It looks a bit older, a bit tatty. And I've given it a new lease of life. So that's what we're up to. Cards for journaling. And it goes through. You even get maps in here, which are always nice. More bits of just odd gluing. Random pictures, just so that you can see what I've been doing. I've not written anywhere else in this Bible. It was just a case of dressing this one because the main thing here was to try and paint a Bible cover. See, it's just random bits. And I did manage that in the end, which I was quite happy with. Odd bits again. Where you've got a whole page like this, it's just been done in the mixture of the glue book. Even the cat's got in there, it's our Alice. So you can put any pictures in it you want. You know, there's no limits. It doesn't even have to be a whole picture of anything. It's about colour. Oh, moo cows. Flowers. Bring you whatever you want in there. Nice canal boat there. Old page of butterflies. More bits for 
journaling on. But it is a lovely Bible. I want to sit and study with and, as it says, have some quiet time with God. Which is what it's all about. Bit of old artwork of mine. Really thick paper, that one. But it's fine. It sits in there nicely. Some more artwork. They would have been really full pictures of all sorts of different things. Acknowledgements. That's more than one page, isn't it? Surely, yes. Let's have a look what we got behind there. I can get it to open for you. Ah, index of quiet time subjects. So if you want to specifically go for a, a subject, say blessing of God. You can go to Job 42, tells you the page, off you go. Quiet time subjects. Bit more artwork. That feels quite thick. I'm sure it comes open. Yes, it does. There we go. Some more of this glue booking. And another one. On the back pages. Really colourful. Different. A different way of dressing the Bible, which I'm always looking for. And actually, when this Bible came to me, as I say, second hand off of eBay, it had some bits of paper in it. So it had this one, the temple. It had a bit of writing. Obviously writing things of somebody putting a bit of their thoughts down. And some more typed up bits. It's always nice to have how they come. Because that's from the other person. And they obviously meant something to the other person for them to put it in the Bible in the first place. This one I'd found, and I thought that can go in there as well. It's one day you return home and find a gift marked, a bit high, <laughs> a gift from your creator, Jehovah, on your doorstep. Impatiently, you enter the house and open the present. Inside, you find a mirror and a letter that reads as follows. I'll let you find that. It's online to read. And then that's the back of the Bible again. So there we go. I was quite pleased that it it worked out from being just a Bible cover to a home painted Bible cover. And I hope it gives you the encouragement to have a go. As I said, it's not it wasn't an expensive Bible, it was probably less than five pounds here in the UK. But it was, this was something I wanted to do. I wanted to try and paint covers. I'd seen it on YouTube and seen people, how they'd done them. So I gave it a go myself. So there we go. Do you hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough. And I do hope you will give painting a Bible. Put that there, you can see it better. It stops the sunlight on how it comes out. Have a go yourself. And in the meantime... Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I apologise for the lighting. It is really sunny outside. But I still wanted to bring you the video. So, we say hold it, feel it, love it. I love what I've done to it. Very different, especially with the glue pages, efforts, Bible pages. But it's just fascinating to do something different, which is always what it's about. So, thumbs up. Do subscribe. Tell your friends. We're getting there. And I will say, stay safe. Have fun. And bye-bye for now.